Hello and welcome back to Firestorm Games. In this video we're continuing our tutorial series on how to paint your miniatures to a tabletop standard. This time we'll be tackling the Ultramarines vehicles and we'll be using a Rhino and the Citadel range of paints to do so. After assembling your miniature you will first want to prime it and once that's been completed you can now start with the base coat. Now I've gone for a McCrag blue base coat here and I've used the spray paint version of this. This is basically just a way of saving time and getting the miniature painted in its main colour very quickly and very easily. With the base coat completed we now want to dry brush Calgar Blue over the entirety of the tank. Now to dry brush, take a paintbrush, dip it in your paint and remove most of the excess onto a spare piece of paper or tissue just so you've got a very small amount of paint left on that brush. Then you want to drag that brush along the edges of the tank and that will just help to really quickly and easily bring out those edges and the detailing in this miniature. Using the same techniques as before, I now be dry brushing Fenrisian Grey over the blue armour. But this time we just want to focus on some of the top edges of the vehicle. Basically areas where you would imagine that light coming from above would hit these corners and edges first. The next step in painting our tank is to paint all of the weapons using a bad and black. Now I'm going to be painting the storm to here and I'll be painting all of the panels on that weapon using the bad and black. I want to make sure we cover the entirety of it. Now when painting your base coat, make sure you create a mixture of one part paint to one part water and apply at least two thin down coats to these areas to get the best coverage possible. Next up, I'll now be painting any lenses on the miniature and for this we want to use Mephiston Red and we'll be following the exact same techniques as we did for the Bad and Black in the previous step. If the vehicle you're painting has any headlights, you want to paint these areas using a base coat of Avalon Sunset, again creating that one-to-one -one mixture of paint to water and applying at least two thin down coats. Next up we'll be painting any metallic areas on the miniature and for this we'll be using Lead Belcher. Now there are a lot of metallic areas on this vehicle including areas around the weapons, the tank tracks and any other details that there may be on the miniature itself. Just make sure that when you're painting with these metallics that you don't overspill onto any of the areas that we've already painted as it can be quite tricky to cover them up at a later stage. Next up, I'll be painting the exhaust emanating from the side of the Rhino. I'll be painting these areas using Balthazar Gold. Now if you have any crests or other details on the miniature, you could also paint them using this gold colour. Now at this stage, our vehicle is looking very flat. The details aren't really standing out. I'm going to be fixing that by applying a wash of Nuln Oil. We're going to be applying this wash in two stages. First of all, we'll be applying this as a targeted wash into those recesses on the blue armour. If you overspill, simply remove the excess paint using your finger. For the other colours on the vehicle, however, you can wash over the entirety of these areas using the Nuln Oil. In these next few steps, I'll be showing you how you can easily apply your water slide decals to your miniature. And the first task in doing this is to prepare the areas that we want to apply the transfers. And we'll be doing this by applying a coat of gloss varnish. Now you could use the Army Painters Gloss Varnish for this or Games Workshop's Art Coat. By doing this, we not only make applying the decal easier, we also help to remove any ghosting around the decal once it's been applied. Next, you want to cut out your decal from the water slide transfer sheet using a sharp knife. And remember to keep your fingers away from the blade at all times before placing the decal into some shallow water and allowing it to sit there for around about a minute. You can then remove the decal from the water and using a wet brush, you can then tease the decal from the backing sheet into the location that you want to place it. Once you are happy with the placement of your decals, you can then apply a anti-shine varnish over these areas to remove the glossy effect that we applied in the previous step. Doing this will result in a much more realistic appearance of the decals. To finish off painting our vehicle, I'll now be applying some battle damage and chipping to the paintwork. And for this, I'll be using Rhinox Hide and a small sponge. Using this sponge and a dabbing method will create a realistic looking irregular pattern of chipping. And we want to focus this around areas we would imagine wear and tear would occur. How much battle damage you apply really is personal preference. So feel free to go as crazy or to be as subtle as you like. And here we can see the completed Rhino from all angles. As you can see this guide was very quick and easy and if you follow it you should have your miniatures painted up and on the battlefield in no time whatsoever. Now whilst this guide made use of the Rhino, there is nothing stopping you from applying the techniques and colours used in this video to any of the Ultramarine vehicles. 
Please do let us know what you think of these tutorials in the comments below. We're really eager to hear what you think of these videos. And also, if you have any suggestions for future miniatures that we can tackle in these tutorials, please do let us know as well. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of our future videos. Now, both the miniature and all the paints used in this tutorial can be found on the Firestorm Games web store for less than the RRP. And we'll include a link in the description below which takes you directly to our web store where you can pick up those items for yourself. So all that's left to say is thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again on Firestorm Games.